Yeah, welcome to Reflector Hub TV. Get set to be fired up. Get set to be blessed. Get set to begin a new walk, a fresh walk with the Holy Spirit. As you listen to God's servant, Apostle Joshua Selman. He bless your life. Just get right in materials. In 2 Peter chapter 1 and verse 3. 2 Peter chapter 1 and verse 3. It says, according as his divine power hath given us all things. That means as far as the matters of life and godliness is concerned, you cannot do away with the power of God and expect a manifestation nor a performance in your life. Please pay attention. Many people ignore the power of God and they expect spiritual realities to find expression. Mm -mm. It takes power to build a great ministry. It takes a power to build a great destiny. It takes power to be able to raise ordinary children to become giants. It takes power to remain. It takes power to not die. It takes power to be strengthened. It takes power to be wealthy. It takes power to be wise. It takes power to ward off the arsenals of darkness. A generation that ignores the power of God is a generation that will never represent the purposes of God. The issue of power has nothing to do with Pentecostalism or charismatism. It is the modus operandi of the kingdom that as far as manifesting spiritual realities is concerned, it will take more than desire. Someone shout power. Let the devil hear it. Power. Luke chapter 1 please from verse 26. Follow this story closely. Luke 1 26. The Bible says and in the sixth month the angel Gabriel was sent from God unto the city of Galilee named Nazareth. All right? To a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. Next verse please. And the angel came in unto her and said, Hail, thou that art highly favored, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Next verse. The Bible says, And when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying, and cast in her mind what manner of salutation this should be. Verse 30 now, and the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. So he was bringing glad tidings, and behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb, and bring forth a son, and shall call his name Jesus. Why? 32, he shall be great. And he shall be called the son of the highest. And the Lord shall give unto him the throne of his father David. Reading to 35. It says, and he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there shall be no end. Now, Mary said, I have heard of the mighty things you have said would happen through me. But how shall this be? Seeing that I know not a man. In other words, the process of marriage has started, but it's not been culminated with Joseph. So it can be consummated. So how am I going to get pregnant? If you had been patient for me to get married, and now you say you will have a child, it will make sense. Because now I will subscribe to things that happen naturally, the law of reproduction. But now you are meeting me, a virgin who is a spouse, and you are telling me this mighty thing will happen through me. And in your discussion, you did not even mention Joseph in the story. So how shall these things be? Seeing I know not a man. 35. And the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon you, but it will not stop there. And the power of the highest shall overshadow you. The power of the highest shall overshadow you. It says, Therefore also that holy thing which shall be born of thee as a result of power shall be called the Son of God. The power of the highest shall overshadow you. Jesus was born through the ministry of power. It took more than the speakings of God for him to arrive. He said the power of the highest 
shall overshadow you. In fact, Jesus himself was not only born of the power of God. The Bible tells us Paul was mentoring the church in Rome. That should be um, Romans chapter 1, I believe, from verse 3 and 4. He began to teach them and he said, the son of God, he said, concerning his son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, which was made of the seed of David, according to the flesh. Remember where we just read and said, he, the Bible says he was declared to be the son of God. Help me, please. With power. It took power for Jesus to stop the suspicion whether or not he was the son of God. He was declared to be the son of God with power according to the spirit of holiness by the resurrection from the dead that means without power we would have been doubting till today if he was truly the son of god it took power to clear the argument that he truly was the son of god ephesians chapter 1 i love this one from verse 15 listen closely Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 15. Wherefore I also, after I heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus and love unto all the saints, uh -huh, he says, I cease not to give thanks for you, making mention of you in my prayers, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. Pay attention now. It says, verse 18, the eyes of your understanding being enlightened, that ye may know what is the hope of his calling and what is the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints. Read verse 19 with me, please. Ready? One to read. And what is the exceeding greatness of his power to us word who believe just stop there what is the exceeding greatness of his power to we who believe not just to everybody paul is saying i pray that god will open your eyes to understand certain things to grant you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him among the many things i want you to know the hope of your calling but then to also know the exceeding greatness of the power of God that is at work in us who believe. The same power, verse 20, that was exerted when he rose up from the dead. That means the power that is at work in you is the same power that took Jesus from Hades and literally brought him out. Ah. Same power that conquered the grave lives in me lives in me your love that rescued the earth lives in me lives in me sing it one more time with faith in your heart same power that conquered the grave lives in me lives in me lives in me listen believe me ladies and gentlemen this is not a song if this enters you as a revelation something will happen to your life you know i was watching a video some days ago and i was watching a a allen is it was a very old video and i watched this man they brought a man on a wheelchair deaf no no he was not deaf but he was dumb he could not speak and he was grounded on the wheelchair and a. a allen was just preaching and was sharing the secrets to the power of god in his own life and all the things that god gave him and when he was done talking the people were watching i don't know why those days they didn't clap and cheer up like we are now i wonder how those guys preached you would say something powerful and yet everybody will be looking like you are lying and he turned right to that gentleman and the wife was standing there and he said how long has he been in this situation could not talk could not walk and he held him casually ah! your love that rescued the earth lives in me lives in me he laid his hands and in an instant not gradually in an instant that man's tongue was unloosed 
or unlocked and he, he lifted him and began to ask him questions and he told him to stand up someone sat on the wheelchair and the man started pushing the wheelchair I said oh God help us help us what did we lose what did we miss in this generation same power that conquered the grave lives in you lives in you same power that conquered the grave lives in me hear me ladies and gentlemen our generation is at the mercy of the manifestation of the power of God from the saints to redeem this evil and depraved generation this is not a generation of blind loyalty again the generation of, of our parents would believe even if they don't understand but this generation is a generation of questions if you say he lifts prove it if you say he changes lives prove it we are not going to just believe and say yes sir for nothing ministry without the power of God is only an invitation into a life of frustration believe me when I tell you business without the power of God parenting without the power of God we live in a time where you will see a child five years old and then he begins to confess I killed my father I killed my uncle I killed my mother and you are wondering five years The darkness that is upon the earth today will require more than good speaking, good discussion. It will take a display of power, genuine power as of old. And it has nothing to do with being in ministry as you know. Power. Please hear me. I wrote here the believers efficiency as a child of God and as a witness is power dependent write it down please the believers efficiency as a child of God and as a witness is power dependent no matter how prepared you are to be a witness you can learn doctrine wonderful you can learn character wonderful but if the power component is not captured in your preparation believe me it will look like God did not send you I hope you know that Moses already began to learn the wisdom of Egypt according to Paul's teaching before he left to encounter the God of the Bible yet when he was returning God said no no I will not send you just like that take this rod is a rod wherewith you will rot signs and wonders let me submit to you sincerely our generation needs a revival of genuine power our understanding of power for the average believer in this generation is falling down and standing up and while we do not downplay anything that is sponsored by the spirit there is a level of power we need to go back to study history how far did God use this man how far did God anoint them men who shook cities by such a display of power you know let me tell you the truth Today we pride in having revelation. You listen to those people, sometimes they had a simple childlike message. Repent, Jesus is Lord. Then they say, now sit down and watch. I'm done talking. I have told you to repent. You are justified to not understand it. But let me show you what he can do. When the blind see, when the deaf hear, when the dead are raised back to life, when lives change, that one is a manifestation of the power of God and this is one of the things that we are missing you would go to a crusade that is full of tens of thousands of people and preach and preach and make another call and only five people will come out is that a crusade you sang you acted drama 
there were all kinds of motivations you even shared water and shared all kinds of drinks to motivate the people and then you preach and out of tens of thousands of people go and read acts chapter 2 the bible says when the holy ghost fell three thousand people in a moment three thousand people one moment no clashing of cymbal no bass guitar no keyboard programming any atmosphere but when power came and power fell peter said this is that this is that which was spoken by prophet joel there's frustration in ministry today because the power component has not been incorporated there is frustration today in the presence of darkness because genuine power we have not paid the price and for those who have tasted a bit of it we have come around that peripheral level whereas there are deeper levels of power yes sir the days of his power if Jesus himself had to be declared as the son of God with power it means every believer in Christ listen very carefully every believer in Christ it is your responsibility to walk in partnership with the keys I'll be sharing with you to make your calling and your election sure please let me speak to you respectfully if you're a man or a woman of God here people have a right to suspect you and think you are a burden to God's program until you validate your call among the many evidences by the display of the power of God to change to heal to deliver to set free by the time you come into a family ladies and gentlemen and within three days their lives change doors open the yokes of witchcraft broken because you came Elisha said oh king don't be afraid let no man come and let him know that there is a prophet in Israel holy holy Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Holy, holy, blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. I remember many years ago, just when we were at the infancy, just even preparing to start, this walk I remember one of the spectacular miracles that God did I had seen bits and pieces of the grace of God but that would be an event where God healed someone he was on phone I prayed for that gentleman I don't know where he is probably he's somewhere around the world even listening today he had a, a medical condition where his spine the spine was broken they listed you know how they, they name all those things and it was broken and they were waiting for some people from India at the teaching hospital in Zaria and I prayed for this gentleman I remember he was even wearing a neck um, what do you call it a collar and I prayed honestly looking from this standpoint I don't know if I believed a miracle will happen or not but I remember praying and that gentleman removed everything and ran to his mother's room it was when night call just started and the only thing I know is that the mother shouted Jesus and that was it let me tell you the next day in that family you know how people come for burial people came to verify is this thing true I myself it was when I saw the gentleman who came with the x-ray I remember when that thing happened let me tell you over the next maybe one month I got calls from medical personnel I got calls from several people I have this disease that means people have been hurting but until they find where genuine power can walk they would rather just keep quiet with their pain Allah 
Kapraske bakato shabekata. Oh, restore power, restore power, restore power to the body, restore power more than the speakings of men, more than the philosophies of men, more than falling down and standing up, more than just speaking philosophies. Restore authentic apostolic power to your body. Let me tell you the truth. It is not difficult to take a nation. Believe me when I tell you, it is not difficult to take a territory. Territories were supposed to be taken to the degree to which they see the excellency of God's power. We have replaced power with good speaking and there is a place for it. But let me tell you, if we believe we are going to save this generation, just by the gist we are saying, we will be disappointed. I can tell you. Why will I not go to a harbor list when I try every option and every pastor prays for me and nothing happens and yet I am dying? Don't tell people don't go to a harbor list. Don't go back to the village. Don't go to... You don't know the desperation of people's pain. When you understand what people can do in the presence of pain, you will cry for power rather than condemn people until you give an alternative that is superior, an alternative that is provable. Forget about this Jesus that you say, don't go to the devil. Hallelujah. That little incident would be the beginning of mighty things that God would do through my life, but it was a lesson. I remember the frustration that I felt as a young man of God just starting out. That I would, I remember one time I went to pray for someone and I spoke to that man, I laid my hands upon him. He was on a wheelchair. The wife absolutely believed in me. She beat you, you, you couldn't have said that they, it was unbelief. The woman believed in me with all her heart that if I stepped into their house, that man would stand up from the wheelchair. But I prayed for him sincerely. Let me tell you the truth, by the privilege of God's grace, I don't claim to know so much, but I've read this Bible a bit. Believe me when I tell you. I quoted scriptures. I taught her doctrine. Then it was now time for performance. And I stood right there and said, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, Lord, by your mercy, this and that and that, absolutely nothing happened. You see, not many people will be honest to tell you this. Everybody would just talk all kinds of nonsense. I left that there and I said, God, this is not good. It's not good for me. It's not good for my mindset. It's not even good for my health. And it's not good for the people you are sending me to. Can I tell you, a time will come where people get used to you being powerless. It's a dangerous state as a man of God. When people conclude you, people have groups in their minds. They know those who are serious. They know those who are sincere but powerless. And they know those who are joking. When they really have problems, they know who to meet. In one day, nations can be saved if they can truly see the power of God, even by the Spirit of God. The Bible says Jesus was declared to be the Son of God with power. Please sit down. Thank God for the testimonies that we see and we celebrate. Thank God for the little that God does in and through our lives. But believers, let me submit to you. Look at me, please. How many of you will celebrate dew just falling during rainy season? As powerful as dew is, is it enough to cause your crops to grow? It takes, it takes rain. It says, ask for rain in the time of the latter rain. We are celebrating trickles in the body of Christ. One headache here, one miracle happening there. That is the reason why they suspect all of us and think that we are all whatever it is. Because there is a level of consistency that mastery must bring. That people can come and know for a shorty 
that in addition to hearing the counsel of God, they are going to see God in their lives overnight. Let me tell you the truth. It is not difficult to win souls. I tell you this, except and unless they see the display of the power and the glory of God. Men are not that stubborn. They just have not been transported to a realm higher than science. The replacement for power is philosophy and the explanations of men. And the excuse that men don't have faith. Someone learning. The believer's efficiency as a child of God and as a witness of his resurrection is power dependent. John 1 12. Let's look at a few scriptures. My God. I pray that someone as you are listening to me tonight, you will truly have an encounter with the power of God. The word of God is truth. The word of God is life. The word of God is powerful. The word of God is awesome. Thank you for staying tuned. Thank you for listening to God's word. I believe you have been mightily blessed by this video from God's servant. I would like you to click on the notification bell so as to receive every of our updates from our content and post online. I would like you to don't forget to also subscribe to the Reflector Hub channel and also share with your loved ones as God will also bless you through that. Thank you and God bless you.